Hi dear friends and subscribers, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show and in this part of the Cricket Happening Show it is going to be the day 2 report on the uh, on the uh, second test match between Pakistan and Sri Lanka which was played at Abu Dhabi where Sri Lanka as I said yesterday would probably be liking to dictate terms to Pakistan and yes they did by closing the day at 318 for 4 that was a lead of 153 runs uh, going into the third day. Not only that, Mahila Jayavardhane uh, hit the form at the right time by actually getting a century after 18 innings in test cricket where he went without a century. So that would be a great relief for him. So let's look at um, how the day uh, went on here at the Sheikh Zayed uh, International Cricket Stadium at Dubai. Uh, so, so, so Pakistan resumed, sorry Sri Lanka resumed uh, at their uh, overnight score yesterday. Uh, and uh, well, uh, they started off with, um, as, as you know, yesterday they were 57 for 1 uh, with uh, Kaushal Silva and Sangakkara at the crease. Uh, for Sri Lanka, uh, well, I wouldn't say the start was not good, even though um, they, they, they started off okay in the sense Sangakkara uh, hit three boundaries, uh, but uh, all in all, the start was not good for Sri Lanka because uh, what they would have been determined to do, uh, that really didn't happen. Because uh, Rahat Ali got a ball uh, which actually got the ball to come in and Sangakra in trying to flick the ball uh, actually missed it. Uh, he was trying to lean into that and uh, he missed it and he actually uh, went, in, went and hit his pad and the umpire's finger went up too and Kumar Sangakra was walking LBW ball Rahat Ali for 26 with 4 boundaries. After that, Dinesh Chandimal uh, was sent ahead of Mahila Javadhan. As you know, yesterday Mahila Javadhan split the webbing uh, in, his, uh, on his, in his right finger, on his right finger and uh, he, was, he had gone for x-rays. Uh, he also had some stitches. Uh, but, uh, well, so Dinesh Chandimal, they decided to send uh, Dinesh Chandimal ahead of Mahila Javadhan. But that uh, ploy absolutely failed as Dinesh Chandimal, once again, like what he did in the uh, second innings of the first test in Abu Dhabi, uh, trying to hook a delivery uh, from Junaid Khan and he actually got the ball into the air at long leg. It was Rahat Ali who came into the picture and took the catch and Dinesh Chandimal was gone for 12 with 1-4 and Sri Lanka suddenly from yesterday they were 57 for 1 and they had the, the, score, at, the score said 88 for 3 at that stage and Sri Lanka uh, at, that, at that time Pakistan would have thought uh, that this is the time for them uh, to really really push on but as far as Kaushal Silva uh, was, as I said Kaushal Silva was uh, there at the wicket and he was joined by Mahela Jayavardhane and both of them um, I mean if, if you look at the approach you know, Mahela Jayavardhane was the man who was under a lot of pressure the, uh, in the first test match he was um, out to Bilawal Bhatti in both the innings he got unplayable deliveries but this time, Mahila Jayavardhane decided that he, is, he was absolutely determined that he is, is going to get into form and that's what he precisely did. He stayed at the wicket along with Kaushal Silva and uh, decided to grind it out instead of uh, going for, the, uh, for his strokes. He decided to um, occupy the safety of the crease uh, and try to block the deliveries and almost waited for the uh, best opportunity to slam the loose ball to the fence and we also saw some very good delicate late cuts being played by uh, Mahila Jayavardhane and Kaushal Silva well he was very compact uh, he was as you know he's, he's a very good driver through the offside and that's what he was precisely doing and he was also looking good uh, even the spin of Saeed Ajmal couldn't really worry them as both of them went about their task uh, in a very very workman like manner uh, and they, they resurrected the situation for Sri Lanka from a score of 88 for 3 and they had taken the score uh, to 227. In between, you also saw some very good sweep shots being played by Mahila Jayavadhane of the bowling of the spinner Shahid Ajmal and Kaushal Silva also uh, swept well. Well, uh, so as I said, the, uh, the score went on from 88 for 3 to 227. So that was uh, a brief little partnership. Uh, and uh, and but it occupied a lot of overs if you see 88 for three but that does not does not matter as this is a test match and there is 227 and that was the time finally Pakistan who were hunting they were made to really really the Pakistani bowlers were really made to toil at the crease uh, and that was the time a very important wicket was taken by 
Uh, it was Muhammad Afiz was brought in. Jake and um, Kaushal Silva was into his 90s, and that was the time Muhammad Afiz uh, bowled a delivery, which Kaushal Silva, uh, trying to sweep the delivery, got it on his pad, uh, and uh, well, he was adjusted LBW, and it was very sad to see Kaushal Silva, uh, who uh, in the first match, as you know, he, on his comeback he made a 50 in the first Test match in Abu Dhabi, and here he was. Uh, really, really uh, would be ruining the fact that he missed a century there by just five runs. But what a knock. Uh, it really uh, was a sort of a glue that was needed for Sri Lanka uh, to really, really dictate terms to Pakistan. And that's what precisely Kaushal Silva did uh, in scoring 95 runs of t with 10 fours. Uh, and I'm sure uh, Kaushal Silva, uh, with, the, with the way he's playing, uh, the way he's showing his resolve uh, to stay at the crease and also play some wonderful strokes, Kaushal Silva, it wouldn't be uh, really, uh, I, I think it is not going to be very far, his century is just going to come, it is just a matter of time now, because that would have given him a lot of confidence now that he has al almost reached a century there, and uh, that would do him a lot of good uh, for the future, and he is uh, definitely definitely uh, penciled in as a player of the future now, as far as Kaushal Silva is concerned, so that made the score 227 for 4 uh, and after that Mahil Ajayvardhane, well, Mahil Ajayvardhane's play is, you know, he was joined by the Sri Lankan captain, Angelo Matthews. And Angelo Matthews, as you know, uh, he has been, uh, if you look at the series, in the sense he has been having a good series, but he has been very consistent, he did well in the one day internationals, he did well in the test matches. Uh, he has always, always uh, led from the front for Sri Lanka, according to me. And Angelo Matthews, well, he went on to, in, in his work, he had the company of Mahil Ajayvardhane, and uh, both of them once again started frustrating the Pakistani bowlers uh, by putting at another partnership and this partnership was a 91 runs unbroken partnership which took the score to close of play at 318 for 4 uh, with uh, Mahila Jayavardhane uh, my, if you see Mahila Jayavardhane's knock uh, what he did is he bided his time at the crease first he wanted to get his eye in which he did during the lunch time and then he went on to once again, even even uh, during even after lunchtime when Sri Lanka, I would say, were in a better position, uh, still Mahila Jayavardhane eschewed his strokes and still waited for the loose ball. And that was a sort of a determination that Mahila Jayavardhane showed. And uh, towards T also, if you look at it, Mahila Jayavardhane uh, was blocking a lot of deliveries. But towards the final session, when he was approaching his 100, uh, we saw a, a different Mahila Jayavardhane emerge out of the shadows there and he started stroking the ball sweetly and fluently uh, and he was playing the slot sweep against Ajmal and finally uh, look at what, a, what an incidental thing that happened Bilawal Bhatti who had taken his wicket two times and Mahila Jayavardhane got to his century of the same bowler Bilawal Bhatti uh, by uh, getting a ball uh, to hit through the offside and uh, that was it Jayavardhane was absolutely pumped up uh, he was um, he was just uh, you know um, uh, what do you call uh, was thrusting his fists in the air uh, and saying that he has done it and why not after almost 10 tests and probably 18 innings that Mahila Jayavardhane's uh, century drought has just end had had ended with a knock of uh, century there and Angelo Matthews was also playing perfectly well not out on 42 with five boundaries towards the close of play Mahila Jayavardhane was not out 106 with 12 fours. As, um, as as stumps were drawn on the second day of the second test match here at the Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi. Uh, 318 for 4 was the final score, that, so that essentially meant that Pakistan Sri Lanka were leading by 153 runs uh, going into the third day and uh, well I'm, I'm sure Sri Lanka would like to put more on the board, they still have lots of batting to come. Uh, first Pakistan's job would be to uh, get through this um, break this partnership of Jayavardhane and Matthews which is uh, once again uh, started uh, uh, started showing uh, a lot of uh, courage uh, in doing so uh, and 318 for 4 uh, and uh, look at the batting that is to come Prasanna Jayavardhane the wicket keeper is in form as he showed in the first um, test match in Abu Dhabi and then they have the tail enders Rangana Herat, Ranga. Rangana Herat can also bat and then they have uh, Eranga, Lakmal and Pradeep to come but uh, Sri Lanka definitely have a long tail, no doubt about it. But uh, for for Sri Lanka, uh, well, they would be hoping that uh, Mahila Jayavardhane and Angelo Matthews still, uh, um, you know, uh, plow on tomorrow. Uh, and probably uh, if uh, Mahila Jayavardhane and Angelo Matthews uh, could really plow on tomorrow, then uh, uh, Sri Lanka should not be far off, uh, far away from 500. 
and that would really put some immense pressure on Pakistan going into the uh, into the final uh, uh, two or three days. Um, uh, let's look at the bowling now. Uh, let me tell you the pitch. Um, really did not show any signs of actually helping the seamers. Uh, it was uh, playing pretty uh, true and easy and that was what enabled the Sri Lanka uh, to score uh, in a very very free manner. Uh, and uh, the bowling well, the Junaid Khan was not able to get any seam movement. He bowled 26 overs, 575 runs and 2 wickets. Rahat Ali would be very happy that uh, he got the very important wicket of Kumar Sangakra. 26 overs, 509 runs and 1 wicket. And Saeed Ajmal, well, it is almost uh, 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 almost a pretty long time. As you know, uh, Dubai has been his uh, favorite hunting ground. But uh, Saeed Ajmal uh, has definitely disappointed. Uh, by, but he has bowled very, very economically. If you look at his bowling figures, uh, it's a picture of economy. 27 overs, 9 maidens, 45 runs, but no reward for his efforts. And Bilawal Bhatti, 21 overs, 3 maidens, 975. And Mohamed Afiz. Uh, got that important wicket of Kaushal Silva, 6 hours, 1 made and 1 for 11. As I said, the task is absolutely cut out for uh, Pakistan. As I said, Pakistan are, have, uh, they have only themselves to blame uh, for what they did because it was a very true and easy pitch. They could have scored a lot of runs, uh, but uh, definitely uh, they faltered on that area. As far as the bowling is concerned, the bowling uh, did not look so sharp enough at all uh, to worry the Sri Lankan batsmen. And Sri Lankan batsmen now. Uh, are definitely looking at a massive score here. Uh, if at all, Mahila Jaivad and Angelo Matthews are able to continue in the same way in tomorrow morning, uh, that would be crucial. But for uh, so Pakistan would be hoping that tomorrow morning, uh, if uh, Junaid Khan, Rahat Ali uh, could give them, uh, uh, get the uh, get either Mahila Jaivad or Angelo Matthews wicket, uh, that would really help them uh, to keep down the lead of uh, Sri Lanka. As uh, Sri Lanka right now are leading 150 runs. They are 150 runs in front and they have six more wickets, but uh, Pakistan would be hoping to get through this uh, pair pretty quickly because then they could, uh, Sri Lanka would be exposing their tail once Prasanna Jayavadhin and the wicketkeeper's uh, position is over, uh, then I, I think uh, Sri Lanka are definitely exposing the tail, they have a long tail, even though Rangana Hirat can bat, we can still call it a tail, Rangana Hirat, Ranga, Lakmal and Pradeep, but Rangana Hirat, uh, I would still not call him a tail because I have seen in the past that uh, he has uh, done uh, some uh, very good heroic jobs for Sri Lanka in the past, uh, towards the end. So, uh, Sri Lanka would be hoping uh, the same from Rangana Herat there. And uh, uh, for Pakistan, well, it's as I said, the task is absolutely cut out uh, and uh, they, they, they have to definitely do something uh, pretty quickly tomorrow morning uh, if the, if when, the, when the dew is on the pitch uh, and see to it that they uh, nip up some uh, Sri Lankan wickets pretty quickly. Well, dear fans and subscribers, uh, that is as far as the second day's play report is concerned on the second day of the second test match here between Sri Lanka and Pakistan here at Abu Dhabi. Then uh, let's look at some uh, cricket news. As far as cricket news is concerned, uh, one cricket news that is coming in is from the Indian Premier League 2014. The auction has already started and uh, the news is that uh, Royal Challengers Bangalore have retained uh, all the big wigs, uh, Virat Kohli, uh, Chris Gale and A.B. de Villiers and also uh, the other thing that has happened is uh, the, the New Zealand spinner, the left arm spinner, who is not uh, really playing any uh, matches right now, uh, has been given a coaching role. Uh, and also, Alan Donald also been given, uh, likewise, another, uh, another coaching role there. Now, uh, as, far as, um, uh, as far as other news are concerned, well, I have uh, one news which is coming in from New Zealand. As you know, the ICC Elite panel uh, had um, uh, Tony Hill. Uh, of New Zealand, but now Tony Hill has actually stepped down from the ICC Elite panel, and he has uh, taken to uh, become the uh, the cricket coach uh, for New Zealand umpires. So that is something, and that is going to be starting from March. So that's a new assignment for him. And uh, other than that, um, uh, one news uh, which is uh, coming up is uh, Afghanistan were actually supposed to tour uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, the news was just uh, just breaking in that Afghanistan has cancelled their tour uh, of Zimbabwe for whatever reasons. Uh, and other thing, the other news uh, that I have is, uh, well, uh, this is from the Big Bash League. Uh, we're not going into real details about it, but, uh, well, uh, it was a very uh, low-scoring match there between uh, the Sydney Sixers and Perth Scorchers. Uh, in the end, it was uh, the, um, it was, uh, sorry, it, it, is, it was not the Sydney Sixers, it was, um, 
it was the Brisbane Stars, I suppose, uh, along with the Sydney Strikers. I'm just trying to see uh, which match it is. Uh, this was played in the Big Bash League, so I'm just wanting to uh, give you an update here uh, from the Big Bash League. As I said, there's not much time, so I can only just give you an update. It was uh, played between Melbourne Stars and Adelaide Strikers. Uh, it was played at the MCG, the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Uh, it was uh, the first two stake strike was the Adelaide Strikers. Adelaide Strikers was absolutely, uh, you know, absolutely at sea uh, due to the uh, wonderful bowling done by the Melbourne Stars bowlers, especially uh, Faulkner who took three wickets for nine runs and was admirably supported by the Sri Lankan PSA's Lasit Malinga uh, who took uh, two wickets for eight runs. And that's what um, enabled Melbourne Stars to keep Adelaide Strikers to just 90 for nine. And Melbourne Stars... Well, for them it was a walk in the park as um, Luke Wright uh, smashed the ball into all parts of the ground uh, in making 49 runs and Melbourne Stars winning the match by 8 wickets. That brings an end to my uh, cricket show for today. Uh, thanks for your company as always and thanks for your um, uh, tremendous cooperation to this cricket show. Uh, your host Ram would like to end the cricket show for today by promising you that I'll be back tomorrow with the third day's play report on the second test match between Pakistan and Sri Lanka at Abu Dhabi, uh, at, uh, at, the, uh, at the Sheikh Zayed International Cricket Ground here in Dubai. Um, until then, it's goodbye. Thank you.